welcome back to my channel. It's Jotna here. So as you can already tell from the intro, we're gonna make some DIY school supplies because it's that time of the year again. Back to school season. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm just kidding you guys, but actually, no I'm not. I'm not. So today we're gonna make eight school supplies to help you keep organized and focused the school year. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up if you want me to make more like back to school DIYs and hacks. And make sure to keep leaving your video requests below because you guys are really good at it. Like you guys are really creative. Um, it really helps me out think of like video ideas. So I would really appreciate if you leave your video request below. Make sure to watch this video all the way to the very end because I'm gonna be doing a back to school giveaway. So you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned for that. So yeah, again, make sure to watch to the very end so that you can participate. And one more thing you guys follow my Instagram because if you follow my Instagram and you comment on my latest photo I will spam your account just make sure that your profile is not on private and I will go on ahead and do that so yeah guys I think it's about that time here are some DIY school supplies let's go all right guys so for the first hack I am going to pull out my trusty glue gun to show you how to make a DIY backpack pin print a template of your choice and slide it under glass Rub some Vaseline on top so that the glue doesn't stick. Moving on to the hot glue part, start squeezing the glue onto the borders first and then work your way in. A good thing about hot glue is that it dries almost immediately so there's no waiting time. So just peel it off from the glass. Now if the edges are rough, you can just use a scissor to cut it and smooth it out. And then it's time to paint it. I recommend using acrylic paint because it's really easy to work with and it dries pretty quick. So here I am using a fine tip black marker because it's easy to manage and it's great for adding details. Then top it off with some clear coat to seal in the paint. And once the clear coat fully dries, add hot glue to the back and then place a medium to large size safety pin on top and add more glue over it to secure the pin. So this is the end result, a super easy and cute way to style your backpack and it's absolutely free to make. This is honestly one of my favorite school DIYs because you can get really creative here and you can literally make whatever you want. So the next DIY is how to make a letter tray. Grab two cereal boxes and cut out one side panel from each box. Now we're going to wrap the box with wrapping paper. So just cut some slits that line up with the edges of the box so the paper can easily fold in. And of course, secure the wrapping paper with tape. Then stack your boxes, stack no more than three boxes. And then tape them together to secure it and boom your very own DIY letter tray to declutter your desk and by the way when adding your things make sure to add the lighter things on top and the heavier things on the bottom so yeah you guys let me know in the comments below if you'll be trying this out So another way to start your year with style is by dressing up those boring pencils. For the second DIY, I'm going to make pencil grips using puffy paint to add comfort to your fingers while also adding some flair to your pencils. So if you've never heard of puffy paint before, it's kind of like hot glue. It literally puffs up, giving it a 3D effect. You can find these in the craft section at a retail store like Walmart. So using your color of choice, just freestyle it and have fun making all kinds of designs. Here's a little example of what you can do. I did this little spiral design and here I did this like, um, I don't know how to describe it, but it's pretty. And then this one was the easiest to make since they're just rows of dots. So when you're done decorating, let the paint fully dry. Just stick the eraser in the hole of a notebook to easily prop it up while it dries. I recommend letting it dry overnight. And that is how you can make your very own personalized pencil grips and they're really easy to peel off. So next DIY, I'm going to show you how to make marble paper to use as fun binder covers. First, fill up a tray with shaving cream. Then add some food coloring, pick a cool color combination and space out several drops on the shaving cream. And finally, mix up the colors. Just go with the flow until you're satisfied with your pattern.
and then next lay a piece of paper or cardstock over the shaving cream so to make sure that it all transfer pat it evenly and once that's done lift the paper and scrape the cream off and you'll be left with a really cool marble design If you want, you can print out the subject with some funky font or you can design the label yourself. Just slip it into your binder for a cute look. It's so much better than what it looked like before. Next DIY is how to make a desktop tray organizer using a cereal box. First, draw a straight line three inches away from the edge. Then do the same for the back. Again, three inches from the edge and draw a straight line. And once that's done, cut out the lines you just drew. Tape the tabs closed so that you have a rectangular tray. Then you can use the same wrapping paper or any other of your choice to give your tray a finished look. Place your school essentials in the tray, like markers, glue stick staplers, washi tape, the list goes on. It's perfect to organize your everyday, like, important supplies right under your desktop computer so that you have easy access to everything you use on the daily. I think it took me, like, a good 10 minutes to do, so definitely try it out, guys, and let me know if you do. Next DIY is how to make your own pom-pom pencils so you don't have to buy those pricey ones. It's a great way to dress up your boring pencils and turn them into really cute ones. Just snip a hole on the bottom of a pom-pom. Next, add hot glue to the eraser and then stick the pom-pom on top. Press the pencil into the pom-pom to make sure they stick well. And that's basically it. These are such a cute idea if you want to be extra this year and add your own flair to your supplies. It doesn't hurt to be a little extra sometimes. Next DIY, put a bright twist on a hot trend with this fidget spinner notebook. Transform your notebook from plain and boring to cool and entertaining. Grab your fidget spinner and some all-purpose glue. Dab some glue on the center of the spinner and press it down onto the front of your notebook. The fidget spinner can be very therapeutic because the motion can help calm your nerves and decrease anxiety while letting off energy. This notebook spinner is also really great for stress relief and can actually help you focus more in class. And it's a great icebreaker for your first day at school. Alright guys, so last hack is how to make a secret pocket for your backpack. This is a perfect way to hide your valuables like money while at school and want to be careful. Grab a pencil pouch and add some all-purpose glue to the edges on the back. Grab the bottom of the backpack and flip it inside out. Make sure to do this before you move on to the next step. Press the pouch against the bottom lining of the backpack to stick it on. It's good to put it on the bottom of the bag so that when you put your books in, it's completely concealed. So yeah, again, it's a really smart idea if you want to play it safe and be extra careful. You never know, things happen, so this is a great way to hide your important belongings. all for today i hope you liked this video and of course if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and of course make sure to comment which diy was your favorite so it's now time for my back to school giveaway so this is what i'm going to be giving away so for my very first back to school giveaway this is what i'm including a jansport outer space backpack a color changing sequin notebook a pad folio with clipboard a really cute two pocket plastic folder a Zip Pit Monster 3 Ring Pencil Case, and some school essentials like erasers, a stapler, fashion index cards, and a cute pom-pom pen. So for a chance to win this, all you have to do is thumbs up this video and then comment down below what you're looking forward to this school year, and that's all you have to do. So again, all you have to do to enter is to thumbs up this video and comment down below what you're looking forward to this school year, and I will be picking the winner at random. So make sure to follow my Snapchat because that's where I'm going to be announcing the winner and also I'm going to be picking the winner on August 10th so there are a few days before I pick the winner but definitely make sure that you do that now because I want everybody to participate and you never know you just might win so go on ahead and do that. So yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!